Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for today's video. What we're going to look at today is um, the driver's side of the GeoTab Drive application, so the HOS ELD system. So the first thing the driver is going to need to do is log in to GeoTab Drive using their username and password that you would have given them when you set them up as a user on your GeoTab database. I have my information set up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So I'll go ahead and enter my password. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is select the vehicle that I'm driving. So I can go ahead and search it up in my vehicle name here, and you can see it pops up. So I'll go ahead and log in. It's going to synchronize my data. And the next thing I can do is um, attach a trailer if I will be driving a trailer as well. So I can go ahead and click on the plus sign and select whatever trailer I will be um, hauling. So let's go ahead and select trailer 1 and click continue. And if I wanted to, I can add shipment, shipment information, excuse me. So shipper name, commodity, documentation, just to keep things nice and organized. And when I'm all done here, I'll click save and continue and move on to the next spot. Okay, and it looks like I am currently in violation. So when you're, drive when you're in violation and it logs in, it's going to give you a warning, just like this. So I'll go ahead and just, um, just for our purposes, I'll go ahead and click continue. And I have unverified HOS logs, do I want to verify them? So if I um, log off at the end of the day without verifying or signing for my logs, it's going to prompt me when I log in next to go ahead and verify them. So I'll scroll down and I'll just go ahead and verify them all because I know for a fact that they are mine. So I'll go, go ahead and verify all days. I hereby certify that, that my data entries are accurate and true. Yes, they are. They're mine. So I'll cl click agree. I have now just verified or signed for my logs. And next are unassigned logs. So when the truck goes up for a drive, even when no one is assigned to it, it creates logs. And that's just what we're showing here. So these are logs that were generated by the truck when no one was assigned to it. So the driver can look over them and say, you know what, yep, that's mine. So I'll click on it and assign it to me. Or like, nope, none of these are mine. And you can just skip. And lastly, we need to do our DVIR. So that's to walk around. You know, do the inspection, make sure everything's okay. So I will go ahead and click certify inspect on my truck up here. So I will certify um, the previous inspection, see um, where it was done, who it was done by, and whether there are any notes going on. And uh, everything looks good. Inspector name, operator name, home terminal, all that looks good to me. So I will certify the previous inspection by clicking on the certify button. And I'm now doing my own, my own inspection. And you can see here I've been placed on duty. So I'm now on duty working and my workday time is now counting down. And I can go through my checklist here. This is a default checklist. Um, you can have um, custom ones set up for you on my GeoTab if you'd rather use that. But this is our default one, so the driver can go through, you know, check the brakes, check the horn, steering, and all that good stuff. And let's say he finds something wrong with the horn. So he can open up the horn and say, you know, the air horn's not working. And he can add a remark. You know, whatever um, detailed information that he wants. And, you know, he can add a remark saying, you know, the horn's not working or whatever. And save new inspection. So save the inspection type. So this is, um, a pr it's going to be a pre-trip because I haven't gone out and started driving yet. Otherwise, I can make it a post-trip because it's, you know, the end of the shift. I'm doing my DVIR at the end. Or it's my in-trip. I'm doing one um, in the middle of my shift. So I'll go ahead and click done. And now I'm going to sign my DVIR saying, yep, this is true. Everything is all good. So I'll click yes. And now um, you can see we need to repair the horn because I, I marked it the horn was bad. And next I can go through and do the same thing with my trailer. I'll click inspect, go through, inspect the trailer, make sure everything's good. In this case for our trailer, let's say I found that everything was good, this system's ready to go. So I can go ahead and, you know, maybe make make a remark, no defects. Again, it's a pre-trip and no major or minor defects found because everything looks good. And again, I need to sign for it. Yes, and there we go. I have now logged in and I'm ready to use the HOS system. Thanks very much for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.